My name is Audrey Jones. I am a matron of honor, unofficial MC for the wedding. And uh, I've known Corey all my life, all her life. And, uh, you know, Corey has a lot of good qualities. Uh, Corey's smart, she's funny, she likes to roll with the punches, she's gorgeous, she's a great friend. But what you may not know about Corey <laughs> is that Corey has a great talent for musical theater. Musical theater. <laughs> you see, when we were kids, we loved to put on a good show in the backyard for our grandparents and parents. We charged a nickel admission, made a killing. And uh, one such time, uh, Dad and Mom really loved a song Corey and I came up with. And uh, I, I tried to be the star of the show, but Corey, as my backup singer, really stole it from me. And that's okay, but I just want to do that song <laughs> with Corey. And, uh, you know, it's been years, I didn't write down the song, but um, I'm sure Corey remembers her part. So, Corey, if you'd come up here. <laughs> that would be great, okay? Now, um, I'm going to set the scene for you a little bit. Corey was about seven years old, which would make me ten. And it was a hot summer night, nonetheless, the show must go on. Uh, the lawn chairs were set up in the backyard facing the treehouse. That was our stage. Hanging from the treehouse was a trapeze bar where this young lady was perched. Yes. And um, this is a song about traveling. <laughs> I just, just remember a little bit of it, but what I really want you to hear are Corey's great vocals on this. Okay? Well, if I'm going to sail tonight, I better be able to plan my flight. But which way should I go? Should I go this way? Should I go that way? Oh, which way should I go? that uh, we couldn't share that with everyone sooner, but I'm glad we had this uh, chance. So, uh, Corey does book for weddings. We want to give her a call. But seriously, uh, we want to welcome Jason into our family. You know what we're like by now, so good luck. But uh, we wish you many, many happy years together. So if everybody could uh, raise a glass, I'd like to do a Tennessee toast, I learned down there. To my little sissy <laughs> and my brand new bubby. Congratulations. about a man who came from humble beginnings, a man who is now quickly, to the right, uh, quickly rising to the very top of his profession based solely on intelligence, grit, and the willpower to push on where others have fallen, a man who has begun to distinguish himself at the very highest level amongst his peers and where no one can say a bad word about him. <laughs> but enough about me. What I'm really hearing about Jason. <laughs> I'm have a little activity here. Jason, I know you don't have a table there, so uh, just bear with me. If you would take Corey's hand and place your hand over hers and keep it like that for now. I'll explain the relevance of this later. <laughs> anyway, how about those bridesmaids? Don't they look good? <laughs> I agree, they look fantastic and are rightly outshone by the bride tonight. They did a great job making sure that Corey went against her better judgment, judgment and showed up today. <laughs> for, your, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Nick. I'm Jason's younger brother. And I have to say it's great to be staying up here today because after all these years, Jason finally admitted that I am the best man. <laughs> Me and his brother, we have known each other for a good 25 years, 
Although the first few years are a little fuzzy right now. Now I can only assume that our parents were so disappointed with their first attempt at a child that they decided to try again. And as most of you know, I don't have a younger brother, so apparently the second time was the charm. There's nothing that I wouldn't do for Jason. Likewise, there's nothing Jason wouldn't do for me. And as a matter of fact, we spent most of our time doing nothing for each other. When I looked at my responsibility, what my responsibility was as a best man, I found that it was three basic things. I was to ensure that Jason got to church on time this afternoon. Check. <laughs> sort of. That he was looking smart. Thankfully, the outfitters, help, the outfitters helped me out with that one. And that he was looking handsome. Well, the job description's best man, not Jeannie. <laughs> As my duties go on, I'm supposed to let the bride's parents know what kind of man their daughter has married. Well, here goes nothing. Jason is successful, witty, intelligent, flashy, charming. Jason, if you're going to give me a list of good things to say about you, at least make it sound somewhat believable. And by the way, you should probably have typed this list for me because the handwriting needs some work. So I had a feeling that Jason's plan of giving me good things to say about him would fail. So I took it on my own and asked around to see what people here at the reception thought of him. One person said, he's a great brother and friend. Hard to believe, yes, I am okay. I wrote this speech on empty stomach. <laughs> a few others said words like thoughtful, caring, trusting, generous, and charismatic to describe Jason. I uh, know that it's quite possible the cake may have already been tapped when these words were given to me. <laughs> One person who remains unnamed said that he looks kind of small where I'm sitting, from where I'm sitting. That came from someone in the back, by the way. And in classic Jason fashion, the seating arrangements were decided based on the cost of the present you bought. So whoever made that comment back there, Jason and Corey, thank you for the matching elements that you bought. <laughs> and I actually only heard one group that had something negative to say about Jason. I heard words like lazy, stubborn, and tight. And I thought that was a bit rough on a man's wedding day, although not entirely untrue, but a bit unnecessary. <laughs> But, if his parents don't know him, then who does? <laughs> There's been a huge change in Jason since he started dating Corey, and I have to hand it to her. Before Corey, Jason was immature and acting like a 12-year-old most of the time. And I'm happy to say now that Jason's maturity level is now around 18 years old, so a drastic improvement in a short amount of time. Nice work, Corey. <laughs> Obviously, I know Jason pretty well because he's my brother, but I actually know Corey pretty well also because we went to school together since middle school. And he used to get on me about robbing the cradle. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're all wondering why I asked Jason to place his hand on Corey's at the beginning, Jason, as my final role as best man, it was my great pleasure that I have been able to give you the last five minutes in which you will ever have the upper hand on court. <laughs> All the joking aside, I'm very happy for the two of you and you find, hope you find nothing but happiness in your life together. If you ever need anything with the exception of watching any dogs that you may have here in the future, don't hesitate to ask me. So now it gives me great pleasure to invite you all to uh, raise your glasses without knocking anything over. <laughs> One more time, and we'll say welcome to the Mr. and Mrs. Wo new Mr. and Mrs. Woodard, Jason and Corey. Thank you.